Today we are going to demonstrate basic drive setup for the Worldwide Electric 4X VFD. We have unboxed our unit, have it sitting on the table. Once you get the unit out, you will see an on-off selector switch. The unit will be in the off position. We must turn it on and then our keypad will light up. You will see 0, 0.00, which is our speed reference. We want to put our speed reference at 60 hertz. We do this by mashing enter. Using our arrow key, pushing over twice, three, four times to be able to get the 0, 0, 0, 0. Using the up key, going to 60.00, illustrating 60 hertz max frequency. In the 4X drive, to save our parameters, we almost always have to hit the enter key twice to save our changes. Now we have our unit set up at 60 hertz. We're going to mash the up button, and you will see ACC, which stands for acceleration time. We hit the enter key, which allows us to go into the acceleration parameter, and we can see the factory default is at 20 seconds. For this illustration, we're going to change the 20 seconds to 11 seconds. You can use the both left and arrow key to scroll back and forth to make your appropriate changes. And you will see we go back over and change that to a 1. Again, we hit enter twice to save the parameters. Now we're going to hit the arrow up key again and you will see the letter DEC which stands for deceleration. We will hit enter to enter into parameter and you will see that 30 seconds is the factory default. For this illustration we're going to change that to a 15 second deceleration time. We will use the arrow keys again to scroll over and use our arrow keys to change our numbers to now 15 seconds. Again, we must hit the enter key twice to save our selection. We will arrow up again and we will see DRU, which is our run command source. Our factory default setting, once we hit our enter, is one, and that is the terminal strip. We would be looking for a terminal strip command. For our demonstration today, we want to use our keypad, so we're going to change the one to a zero. We hit enter twice to store our zero. Now we're going to be able to operate our unit via the keypad that we've been working with. We enter up again and you will see the FRQ, which is frequency reference so source. It is factory set at zero, which is the keypad. We are going to leave this at zero for our demonstration purposes. We will hit enter and that allows us to use the keypad. If we wanted to use a speed pot, we would change that to a 2, and that would allow us to go to use a speed pot for a reference point. Now we have that set, we're going to use the right arrow keys. And we're going to arrow to we see the BA parameters, and it will come up BA.0. And this is our basic groups. This is where we're going to do basic stuff, setting your motors, RPM, we're putting in full load amps, that stuff. So now we're going to arrow up to BA11. And the BA11 parameter is our motor poles. We hit enter and you can see we're factory defaulted at four. A four pole motor is equal to 1800 RPM. If we had a 3600 RPM motor, we would simply scroll down till we saw two and that would be two pole for 3600 RPM or if we had a 1200 RPM we would arrow up and see six for 1200 RPM. For our demonstration we want to leave our unit at a four pole motor 1800 RPM. Again we must hit the enter key to save those parameters. Now we are going to go to BA13 and this is where we're going to allow us to enter our full load amps. This unit is set at factory default of 3.4. And our 
purpose here, our motor is set at 2.6. So we will use our arrow keys to scroll from a three down to two. And then we got to change that four over to a six. And then hit our enter key twice there again to save that parameter. Once we have done our basic group parameters, we're going to right arrow to our advanced parameters. And inside of our advanced parameters, this lets us go in and do a lot of things. An example that we're going to change the day into advanced parameters is something as simple as fan control. The factory deset default on this unit for our fan controls is always on, but say that uh, we don't need it always on, we only want it to be on when the temperature of the unit is hot. So we would change our factory default to AD64 in this example. We hit enter to enter the parameter and you can see zero and that means our fans are always on. And what we want to do in this example is show you how to change it so the fans are off and only running on a temperature control. So we're going to change it to a two. We'll use our arrow up to two, hit enter twice, and now our fans will not come on until the VFD requires those fans to come on. We have now completed a basic setup. We hit the escape key. It gets us back to our 60 hertz max frequency that we set earlier in this video and now we're able to start the drive. We hit the run button and as you can see we go from our 0 up to our 60 over the acceleration time in which we chose earlier in this video and now our motor is up to speed everything is working fine. We will hit the stop button and now you can see we're decelerating in which we chose earlier in this video. We hope you find this video educational. Please visit us at worldwideelectric.net or if you need our tech support line, please call us at 844-WWE-SERV. Thanks and have a great day.